I will be talking about monsters as metaphors. <coughs> Some of the abstract concepts that I will be dealing with uh, include consumerism, hubris, nuclear radiation, uh, but most importantly, uh, eutrophication, uh, and specifically in connection to the Baltic Sea and a series of LARPs called the Baltic Warriors. Baltic Warriors was a, a transmedia campaign uh, consisting of many different things, social media, uh, debates, uh, but also LARPs. And we had a tour of the Baltic Sea. The blue part in the middle, that's the Baltic Sea. <laughs> and uh, we ran seven LARPs in uh, seven countries uh, during last summer, during the summer of 2015. As far as we know, this is one of the most international LARP campaigns in the history of the world. <laughs> Usually I say it's the most international, but with this crowd, uh, I don't know, somebody's going to yeah. come to me and say, it's, actually, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, but still, uh, uh, seven countries in a couple of months. Uh, we, had a, we began in, in uh, Tallinn in May on a uh, steam icebreaker, then went on to uh, St. Petersburg on the uh, cultural house and on the shores of the ne uh, Neva, <coughs> then uh, a sandy beach in uh, Poland, Sopot, then uh, Kiel Kunsthalle Art Museum in Germany, uh, the uh, uh, square, the plaza in front of the uh, Parliament Christiansborg in uh, Copenhagen, then, uh, Stockholm, that's actually an aerial photo that I took on the plane. Uh, we didn't play it in the plane, uh, we played it in the historical museum. And uh, uh, finally, Helsinki. Uh, and the games were essentially uh, political co conferences where uh, lobbyists, uh, decision makers, politicians, uh, journalists, activists come together uh, to decide upon an issue affecting the eutrophication of the Baltic <coughs> Sea. Now, of course, you're going to have two questions. Question one, uh, what is eutrophication? Question two, uh, how do you make a LARP about eutrophication since you can't really show it, let alone interact with it? <laughs> let me answer question number one. What is eutrophication? <laughs> it is a, it's actually the Nordic biology talks, so bear with me. <laughs> eutrophication means the uh, leakage of nutrients, meaning uh, phosphorus and nitrogen, uh, leakage of nutrients uh, from land, into the sea, which is bad. Nutrients means essentially uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer on land is good; it makes you the crops grow. Grow. Uh, fertilizer on land, uh, on, on the sea. Fertilizer in the sea is bad. That's essentially it. It creates a vicious cycle with of algal blooms and blue green algae that destroys the sea, and which blocks sunlight and creates this. Uh, anoxic dead zones deep within the sea. And it's very problematic, especially in the Baltic Sea. Here's an aerial photograph provided us by BBC uh, a couple of years ago uh, of the Baltic Sea. And the turquoise parts are blue green algae, poisonous microbacteria destroying everything. Super bad. <laughs> Here's a, a close-up. So everybody who lives uh, in the countries surrounding the Baltic Sea knows that when, whenever the shores are like this, you can't go swimming because there's something poisonous in the water, and that poison is blue green algae or cyanobacteria. It's not even algae. It's called algae, but it's not algae, <laughs> and it's caused by the process of eutrophication. So we made a big series of LARPs about this very uh, abstract topic. So, back to the question. How do you make a LARP about eutrophication since you can't really 
show it, let alone, inter let alone, let alone interact with it. Eutrophication is not alone. There's lots of these intangible subjects that you want to deal with in different ways, but you can't really show them as such. Tubaries, passage of generations, consumerism, uh, pride, nuclear radiation, uh, puberty, communism, aristocracy, aristocracy leading off the blood of the working class. <coughs> how, do you sh how do you interact with hubris? Well, the answer comes to us from literature. You take a huge whale, <laughs> like an albino whale, and you take a man who really wants to kill that whale, even though it's impossible. That whale kills everybody. So the whale represents his hubris. And then you have a story about a man and the whale, uh, and you, you make like a huge, really, really long boring book, and uh, you name it after the whale. <laughs> what about the passage of generations? This one comes from mythology, Greek mythology, which I really like. Since yeah, well, um, <laughs> there we have the uh, giant slash god uh, Saturn, who knows that one day one of his children will come up and take his place. Well, he can't have that. He's the time god, god of time. Somebody will come and, and assert his throne as the time god. So he eats his own children. You know, that's the symbol for the passage of generations. What about consumerism? A zombie movie presents uh, consumerism in the form of uh, zombies in the mall. Mall goers, shoppers turning into zombies. Pride, old man at the sea, and, and the big fish. <laughs> Nuclear radiation. Godzilla. Puberty. Okay, um, okay, we have a young person, and when they reach adulthood, they somehow sort of get these powers that will lead to their death, but they're also meaningful and important because that they lead to also rebirth and that kind of stuff. So you need some sort of like a a uh, vaginal symbol that will start the bleeding if you're a, if, if you're a young girl. So you have the Sleeping Beauty and tossing the, the spindle. Uh, this, yeah. What about communism? This one comes from the realm of manifestos. Uh, Karl Marx's communist manifesto begins with uh, a specter is haunting Europe, the specter of communism. Aristocracy living off the blood of the working class, well, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> what about eutrophication? Uh, for us, okay, pr problematic things destroying our seas and our lives coming from the dead zones, the answer is obvious. Viking zombies. Come <laughs> 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 so we made a Big uh, transmedia campaign about eutrophication of the Baltic Sea by running alarms or, well, about Viking zombies. Here's a Viking zombie in front of the Danish parliament. <laughs> Inside the steamship. Attacking a politician. <laughs> attacking a Christian politician who's trying to use the power of faith to compel him. <laughs> Not successful. <laughs> <laughs> the only way, to, only way to fight the Viking zombies, aka eutrophication, is by cooperation and uh, clean water. So our characters would be carrying clean water in their hands to ward off zombies. Here's the uh, uh, Schleswig-Holstein uh, Minister of Culture warding off zombies with clean water. <laughs> so, that's how you take an abstract concept, uh, wrap it in a monster, and then have the monster interact with your characters in art or in mythology or in, in a book or in a film or wherever. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>